expect me to jump off of this and over to there or something? It looks like that's what they were trying to uh, have someone do. I could probably jump towards that and then warp to be able to get over there. Alright. That seems to be about it for that. Let's figure out if we can find a way down into the shopkeeper's shop. You know what? Before we do that, it is probably even better if I were to uh, go shop at the shopkeeper's shop and buy some more sleep darts. It's the prototype, and we still haven't even gone to uh, Liam's information over here. What? Welcome back. Your acquaintance didn't make it. A shame. In that case, I have a proposition for you. Recover the Roseboro prototype for me, and I'll pay you the finder's fee and something extra. I'll think about it. Take a look at what I've got for sale while you think. Oh, you're the one who's going to pay. Um, yeah. Welcome back. Please, take your time. Ancient Howling Bolt blinds enemies, causes witches to flee. So, what's different then? Deep Howling Bolt blinds enemies and causes wolfhounds to flee. Okay. <clears throat> this is what I have for upgrading your equipment. It's masterwork stuff, apparently. A little pricey. Uh. I might as well um, be upgrading stuff like that because it will be helpful to have other things around. Definitely still missing a few things. I think I might actually want some extra bolts, because then I can kill those skulls from a distance. And be silent about it too. Okay, nothing over here that matters. Go ahead and grab this stuff. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. Oh, so you can only have one masterwork at a time. That's okay. Having witches flee is to probably the day better. When I can reopen my gallery. All right, let's see. Hardened bolts inflicts greater damage. Might be helpful for the uh, hounds. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Don't want bullets. <laughs> Do want some extra... Here. Excellent choice. I'm thinking I'm actually going to purchase this so that we can... Uh, open up our ability with the bone charms. <laughs> Since we're finding some good ones. And now I can actually make use of them. Nothing there. I might as well get some accuracy. No point in not doing so. We've got so much money. Reload speed might be helpful too. Tons of money. Might as well do it. I'll find plenty of those, I'm sure. I want to get more of these, for sure. Uh, stinging bolts suck. Mm, yeah. Definitely. I eh, might as well. I've got the money for it. What's the use in having all this money if I don't spend it? Visit again soon. And keep a close watch on your coin. Mm-hmm. I'll be back with your uh, device that you want. And one day I'm gonna figure out how the fuck to break into here. It's like <laughs> stun mines there. Hmm. Hmm. 
so... <sighs> Where I want to be is literally, like, right here-ish. So I need to find a way where I'm seeing this down area. Hmm. Anyway, in the meantime, let's go and check out our powers here. I've got five runes. Could get bend time. Could get this stuff. I think bend time is where I want to go. Even though this stuff is really cool. Um, and this is just like corpses jumping from stuff and then humans. I don't really want to possess humans at the moment, but in the future that seems like a good idea. I think for now, Ben time is where it's at. I don't know if we're going to have enough to buy all this stuff that I want. Especially because I would like to do stuff with this, too. Let's see. Lower chance of corruption for three or four traits. Use the same trait up to four times across your crafted bone charms. Ooh. Ooh. Having multiple traits over and over again sounds really good. Still low chance of corruption when crafting bone charms with four traits, but apparently none with three. Crafting runes by expending whale bone or sacrificed existing runes to accumulate raw whale bone. So I could get extra runes if I got this one. Looks like I have to get this to go down this line. I wonder how much whalebone you actually need to craft a rune. Because that might actually be valuable if I want to get everything. Oh, but having bend time would be so good right now. Nope, we're going to do this. We'll be able to uh, craft runes soon enough here. I really wish I had this too, but now we have the ability to craft uh, three per rune without any issues. That's good. That's real good. Or bone charm, I suppose. Wow, look at how much stuff has been opened here. That's amazing. All right. So... We are going to go to our crafting, and we are going to uh, start sacrificing some bone charms here. Fleet fighter. Movement is not slowed when our weapons are unsheathed. I will keep that. Um, explosions from grenades, more damage, no. Let's get rid of high pressure. Okay, and now we can do some crafting. We'll do it with three traits, because we have no chance of uh, corruption now. Sword attack, slightly faster, don't care. Drop Assassination restores health, do not care. Howling bolts are louder and have a greater radius. You know what, that might actually be bad. Hmm. Uh, don't care about that. Grenades inflict more damage. Where are the other ones? Ah, there's the lung. I thought I had some other ones that I wanted. Now I don't see them anymore. Huh. Okay, well, um... You know what, we'll do Resounding Shriek. Even though I think that's probably bad. And inflicting slightly more damage with grenades is probably good just because we will, uh... 
we'll be able to destroy any robots with it. All right. This looks like some kind of uh, demon trap or something that we're creating here. Sounds good to me. I suppose we could uh, destroy the rest of our stuff and then create some extras. But right now, I don't really care too much. All right, so we've got a ton of traits now, which is fantastic. Let's go look over the lore real quick and make sure that we've used it all up. Okay. All right. Now we've got a whole bunch of things. I don't care about the prototype. I want to see Liam's place. Not quite sure why we missed Liam's place because it's like right here and I'm quite positive we went through here before. Oh, there's an audiograph that I never played apparently. Yeah, I remember being in here. <laughs> Didn't I play this like once before or something? What happened? Maybe I just remember looking at it and not actually doing anything with it. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, so you must be Liam then. It's also possible that you're not Liam, but if you're in this place. Anyway, let's hear what we got. Brianna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The Overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracula Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracula Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. It's probably quite easy for them to uh, infiltrate the Order, considering that there's a lot of witches involved here. All right, so the Raculum is a new thing. Let's take a look here. Specs of doing this, perhaps this is connected to the Raculum, the occult device that Anton Sokolov mentioned. Okay, cool beans. So, at this point, Let's see if we can move over towards this when we go through here. Not really. Not really. Why is it blocked? Cannot tell. Perhaps once we're inside of this place, we can uh, circle back around to be over there. What is this? A 
couple of different blood flies down here. Hey, don't get pissy at me. Alright, there's only two of you. You should be fine now. Looks like some whale oil on the floor here. Lots of whale oil. Dead blood flies. Wait, why is there a dead person over here? Oh. I think I figured it out. There's a whole bunch of blood flies eating this corpse. That's why. It's also why they were getting angry at me. Because there was way more than three. Aha! Door is open. This is not the same door, though, because the other door is over there. Interesting. Oh. All right. Um, let's take this out. Where's that shit at? Got him. Yeah, these are definitely going to be helpful for long range takedowns of these hounds. Dead or alive? I think you're probably dead. You're most certainly dead. Breaking and entering job. Use cliffside outside office window to get over fence. Drop down and enter basement through delivery door. Special display is on second floor. Enter through security room. Grab Roseboro type. Don't forget to disable alarm. Easy money. Doesn't look like it, buddy. Ooh, stinging bolts. Is there any sleep bolts here? No, but we do have some more crossbow bolts. And I'm going to need to stock up on that kind of stuff. Ooh, there's a chloroform bottle here. Lots of chloroform bottles. Some whalebone, nice. Ton of blood flies over there. 